This is See Us Enterprises. 22 boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. I'm still glowing. I am still glowing from that game with Courtney yesterday. We'd had an awful game on Sunday with Tom. And Courtney came out here, 19 years old, from Essex, and she just glowed. I mean, it was brilliant, wasn't it? She, yeah. she brought her personality and she was not going to be knocked in any way. She wasn't going to be upset by what the banker said or did. She just came out here to make the most of the occasion. Anyway, we got down to three boxes at the end. Ten pounds, a hundred thousand pounds, and seventy-five thousand pounds, and he tried to stop her by offering her thirty-five thousand for her box, and she couldn't be stopped. And in the end, we just had this amazing finish, where thankfully she did go with thirty thousand pounds because she only brought a tenner to the table. I hope she enjoys the money, and I hope somebody else will come out here now, one of the names you're about to see, and put that amount of effort, that amount of personality and drive into the game. Because quite often, it's the fastest route to the big money. Here they come. Every show is different. Every game is different. Every outcome is different. Because, of course, everyone is different. That's right, isn't it? Mark. Mark, it is your big moment. Will you please take the walk of wealth? Come and have a fling with the banker. Welcome to your game, Mark. Thank you, Noel. Thank you. I've been looking forward to it. Good man. Uh, Mark Wiley from Loch Lomond in Scotland, farmer and outdoor arena entertainer. That's right. Uh, 2001 was a horrendous year for everyone in the farming communities yeah. with foot and mouth. It was. And uh, you were affected and then you found a rather interesting way of, of bouncing back from That's the tragedy right. of foot and mouth. Um, what happened, though, as you say, foot and mouth came. I used to do a sheepdog demonstration. That's always been my passion, the sheepdogs. And... Uh, People were interested in it, and it, it went well. I started that in 1998. In 2001, foot and mouth came. So a Welsh friend of mine suggested I try using ducks instead of sheep. Uh, and although ducks look nothing like sheep, when they're being rounded up with a dog, they behave in a remarkably similar way. We're called the Drakes of Hazard. <laughs> and we, we travel all over the country, from Cornwall to the Orkney Islands, from Norfolk to the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, and uh, all over my, my homeland, Scotland, as well. And, and you're using Border Collies for this? Border Collies, the best dogs in the world. I love it. It's a good story. It's a very enterprising story. That's a lovely picture. Who's this? This is my beautiful family. Uh, everything, to me, is family. There's yours truly, of course, and my lovely wife, Christine, I've got uh, Lee here, Lewis, my oldest son, and little Struan at the back here. Uh, he's actually 16 now, so it was a few years that picture, a few years ago the picture was taken. Uh, here we go. That, that's one of my dogs. His name's Jim, and that's some of the ducks, just a, a selection of the ducks. They're, they're called Indian runner ducks, and they've got this uh, uni unique way of running about, as you see, standing upright. Uh, which is quite comical in itself, believe you me. There's a weird side to you, you know, Mark. There is that, I'm afraid. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good. We got the confession right at the beginning. Are you happy to go on with your game? I certainly am. OK. I need you, please, to confirm that you chose box 13 at random before the game began. Completely at random. It is uh, sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Um, 13 causes people problems. Does it give you a problem? 
No, it doesn't. No, but I'll tell you. I'll tell you later in the show what the number 13 means to me. OK. Uh, you haven't got anyone supporting you, so we're asking for the pilgrims... They'll be good to me. ..to become friends and family... Well. ..and ensure that in this game today, Mark goes away a very wealthy man. Good luck. Thank you, Noel. Thank you. Thank you. There's just one thing I want to do to camera, if I can. Oi, oi. I want to send a message to my wife and my children at home. OK? Oh, hang aye, on. Aye, oh, this is a good idea. This will get me settled. As you know, as you know, I arrived down here on uh, the 1st of January, you know, and uh, that's very much a highly celebrated time of the year up in Scotland. It's considered very bad manners not to take in a bottle of whiskey for the banker. Oh, from right. our local distillery, if you can see that he gets that. Yeah. Ed! And uh, another thing we take is shortbread, and this is made by my sister, Crystal. She makes beautiful shortbread. For the banker? For the banker. There we go. And, of course, Noel, feel free to dive into that. That's yours. Thank you. I did have a bottle of whiskey for you as well, but uh, one night in the hotel room... <laughs> I, I tried to save it for you, but I'm not going to say who drank the most of it. But, but have you ever tried to get a bottle of whiskey off an Irishman? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mo. <laughs> no problem. Uh, I'm just going to go and pick my first box, and it's going to be you, Dave. Let's see what you've got in number 12. Oh, you're top lot, mate. Yeah, Fantastic so are you, mate. Yeah. You're right. a proper gentleman. All right, I'm going to miss you, mate. OK, yesterday we had the perfect start. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if it happened two days in a row? That, all right. that certainly is not oh, perfect. Sorry, Mark. That's OK. Listen, I'll be feeling bad for all of us, OK? So don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm going to come to you, Ben. You're the next man. Oh, the mark. Any puns? Um, make the banker hoil and fling a few pounds in your direction. <sighs> oh. uh, thank you, Ben. Good luck, Mark. Oh, hey, 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 what a contrast to yesterday where we had 1p and 10p. And now we've had 75,000 and 100,000. It's all right, it's all right. That is bad. OK, now I'm going to start thinking a bit more about what box is on. I think my lovely friend here, the glamorous Jean. You're a gentleman. Thank you. Well, that's better. That's good. Yep, that is better. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. If I pick one of the most glamorous ladies, I must pick the other one next. <laughs> OK, Joyce? <laughs> Let me have it. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> Don't you start. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Glenda, can I have box 15, please? Good luck, Mark. Thank you, thank you. Yeah! Oh. Oh. You did fantastic. Fantastic. Well, is that no? I'm hoping that the uh, banker is well stuck into your gift. Before he phones, can I just mention uh, I'm, I'm a great man for my traditions. And when you do take shortbread and uh, whiskey in, you expect to get some of that whiskey out of the bottle. OK. Uh, just um... a drop of water in it. <laughs> you drop. Hello. Oh, fact of the matter is he's only got one glass. You feel sorry for the dogs? You can see all the other dogs when you go to a show, looking at your two, going, here they come, here they come. Donald and Daffy. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Dutch? <laughs> Poor things. It's not a great opening round, no. Very nice. 
very good. Yep, well, uh, it wasn't a very good opening, but uh, he thinks you're here for the quarter of a million. So um, he's taking you very, very seriously indeed. Uh, your opening offer has got two little ducks. Quack, quack. £7,022. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That is a fantastic offer. But there's a wee gambler in me today that I didn't know I had, Noel, so you can ask me the question. £7,022, deal or no deal? Mr Banker, that is a great offer. But uh, on this occasion, I'm not going to deal. No deal. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Well... Emiliana, the lovely girl with the lovely name. We'll see what's in box two, please. That's a lot, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, everybody uh, knows that Tom and I got on great, and Kevin, you're standing where he is, so I'm, I'm going to leave you for a wee while. But another young man I think is a great young boy is Yasser here. It's been great to meet Yasser. Yeah, me, yeah. And I hope when your game comes, it's a great game. Thank you very much. Uh, and can we have box 19 now, please? Thank you. Mark, you're actually a fantastic guy. Really, really nice to meet you. Thank you, thank you. Good luck. Yeah. It's OK. Sorry. Ooh, he's now had three of his power yeah, five yeah, yeah. exposed. Come on, Mark. Yeah. If you'd like to address the nation, please. Certainly. Well, I'll be happy to do that. Yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, viewers at home, if you want to see the farmer, charmer, duck tamer and pin-up win a fortune, <laughs> come back after the ads. Thank you. I knew you'd return for this. One to go. One to go, one to go, one to go, one to go. Well, Davey, I'm going to take your box next. No Fire worries. away. Best lot, Mark. Thank you. Thanks, Davey. No worries. Thank you, thank you. All right. I will take a bit of ice in it. What was that? Oh, the whiskey's a bit strong. <laughs> He's going, way He's fallen into my plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th I can confirm, 35,000's gone. Your plan's working. <laughs> <laughs> the, bo the board's a bit blurry, is it? Yeah, well, the 100,075 are still there. <laughs> yeah, they're still there. Excellent. Good. In that case, if you've got the two, two biggest still in the game... <laughs> backed, ..backed up by 75,050, he says, I'd better make it £10,000. <laughs> Well, we had a most unusual game yesterday, but I can honestly say this one is unique. We've never had anyone come out here with the tactic to get the banker hammered. <laughs> what a fantastic offer. What a fantastic offer. £10,000. What would you do with that? Have you got a shopping list? Well, no. I'm uh, not a materialistic person. Uh, my, my old car, my old Land Rover's 15 years old, and if I won a quarter of a million, I promise you I wouldn't change it. But... My, my kids are everything to me. The older two, you know, they're married. Uh, Lee's got a young family. Lewis is engaged. They've got their own houses. And uh, just the way things are at the moment, they're feeling the draft a bit. And uh, I would like to be able to help them. Excellent. But you can ask me the question. 
£10,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr Banker. That's a very kind offer. But I'm going to take it another step. No deal. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go with our newbie, Zoe. Uh, so let's see what you've got in box 21, please. All the best. Thank you. And the next person I'm going to go to is my lovely little neighbour here. Okay, Tracy. Okay. You're a very special man, Mark. Thank Keep you. Keep my fingers crossed. It's okay. He says it's, it's okay. okay. Um, I'm, I'm happy with twenty thousand out of the game. Probably shouldn't say that. Yeah. The banker can't see it. Great news, Tracy. That was the one P out of the game. <laughs> 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 I'm going to ask the lovely Becca to open her box. And uh, hopefully this will be a blue for me, Becca. Give it a go. Thank you. Yeah. 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 He's getting through the blues. Thank you. Thank you. Whittling the blues away. Hi. Whittling them away. Trying. Hello. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Uh, yeah, I love you too. <laughs> yeah, thank you, banker. Yeah, we all love you. <laughs> uh, what amounts? Uh, he, it's the first time it's ever been done, um, uh, certainly this year. Uh, he took the 1p, the 10p and the 50p in order. So at the moment, uh, you've lost those, and he's still got all of his power five. <laughs> yeah. I think you have got to go up. Thank you very much. You're going to have to cut me in on this, you know. <laughs> You're like 10 for no. You're now up to 13,000. <laughs> oh, you could do a lot to help your family, couldn't you? I could, I could, no. And this is the hard bit. Of course, I'll be spending some of that money, but I'm wanting this money to help my kids. 13,000. Mark, remember what you said about box 13? Yeah. When are you going to tell us? Well, that's, it's no, nothing really. It's my mother, my late mother, her birthday was the 13th of December. My son was born on the 13th of December, Lewis, and picked at random. Just now an offer for 13,000. Yeah. Okay, Noel, I'm ready for the question. Mark. £13,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much. I'm going to take it one more time. Uh, no deal, thank you. Thank you. I'm coming over to Clive. Again, somebody I haven't got to know too well. No. But it's been great company. It's been great knowing you. Yeah. Fantastic. You All yeah. the best. Yeah. OK, thanks. You could afford to lose 5,000, but the fact of the matter is 1,000 downwards is the ideal scenario. Good luck with the next one. Joe, I know you'll do well for me. Mark. Thank you very much. Enjoy this moment. I know it's going to be a blue. Mark, I hope it's a wee blue for you. Thank you. You need one Good of luck. those wee ones. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Are you feeling good about this? You liked 13,000. You felt you could do a lot for your family with 13,000. And 13's beginning to feel as if it could be your lucky box. But this box, Mark, is a really important one in your game. And that's the compelling reason why you will be back after this break. We are on the edge. See you shortly. <laughs> He's got the Gun Clan Tartan, I believe that is. What's the connection? You're a Wiley... Wiley, uh, th th there isn't a Wiley Tartan. We are part of the, Glen the Gun Clan from the far north of Scotland. Oh, okay. A very warlike clan. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm glad that's come out, because you've really got the, the banker flat on his back at the moment. <laughs> gave him a bottle of scotch, and the banker's really gone for it. So, with a bit of luck, he doesn't know uh, really what's going on. You need the 1p or 10p, please, Mark. Mr. Matt, another fine gentleman. Mark, you're a true Scottish gent, and it's been a pleasure to meet you. Listen, I've, you. I've enjoyed meeting you. Let's and see what's in that box of yours. I'm, I'm done for. <laughs> <laughs> Two time. <laughs> big box, this. A really big box in this game. Good luck, Mark. Thank you. Yeah, good. <laughs> Could have done with one of the uh, oh, three. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Just the, the contrast that we're getting at the moment. Uh, 1p and 10p out of Courtney's game right at the beginning. Clinging on, though, for the banker. Hello. What's on the board? Um, at the moment, he has all of his power five. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully intact. Uh, you've lost all of yours. There are no other blues uh, around. <laughs> and he's backed up with a, a solid block of everything else red. No, I wouldn't lie to you, banker. I promise you and I love you. <laughs> Very distressing for you, yes. Thank you. Yes, got him up to 19,000. <laughs> Don't forget, there's 10% for me in that. <laughs> for getting him up that high. Did he mention anything about whiskey? I think he's done the whole bottle. <laughs> £19,000 in your life now. Well, oh, just be away. Take that big one out down there. You're going to get nowhere near that. How are you thinking? I'm not a gambler. I'm not a gambler, Mo, as you know. And I've often heard people saying you can only gamble with money you can afford to lose. Correct. I'm not desperate to get into the bank of mum and dad, but I would like to be in a position where I could help them. So... I think you've made your mind up. Would you make it 20? <laughs> He'll never want for whiskey again. He would never want for whiskey again? Or shortbread. Cost you a lot of money. Not from Scotland. Not not. <laughs> Hello. Yes, um, you'll never want for whiskey again. Was the uh, offer? If you could um, see your way to going to twenty thousand pounds, I think you'll be able to pack him off back to Scotland. Oh, he says it's amazing how. Having your arm twisted sobers you up very quickly. <laughs> oh, doesn't like having his arm twisted, Mark. I wasn't twisting it, I only asked. Particularly when you're in a vulnerable position. Joe, you have every reason to look anguished. He's changed the offer. It's not £19,000, it's now... 17,000. Oh. 
face the danger of just asking for that little bit more, quite often it just pushes him into thinking, OK, why don't I make you go on? You've got, now because you've been reduced to 17, you've got 15 sitting there that's not that far away. If you were to have a very favourable round, which would be 5,002 blues, you'd be in a magnificent position and I'm pretty certain the offer would start with a two, which is where you wanted to get when you were asking him for more money. There is a further reality, Mark. No man has won a quarter of a million pounds. How would you feel, Mark, if it was in there? I could handle that a lot better than going home with the blue. I think you just answered your own question then. Yeah, I agree with David. That's uh, pretty critical stuff there, Mark, you've just said. I'm ready for the question. Mark, £17,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Let's see what you've got. Going with Laura? Going with Laura. As long as we hold on to those two, we're in this game with a vengeance. Go on, Laura. Show us one. Good luck, Mark. Right at the start of the show, I did this to the camera. Some of you might have noticed it. And that's something I used to do to my children whenever I couldn't actually speak to them if they were up on the stage in a school play or leaving in a bus. I used to do that to them and we keep doing it. And what it is, is just basically two thumbs up, good luck. Everything will be okay. And if you can imagine, that little cross thumbs is a kiss, okay? To every single one of you. We'll take it on now. See how it's going to go. You can tell who I'm picking next, yes. Justin. <laughs> You're a great man. I mean, I'm crying for you. Listen, mate, we've had some good laughs. Oh, you, me, and Tom, some of the best times. Let's see what 22's got for us. Justin, this means a huge amount. In Thank a you. funny way, I hope it's the penny. <laughs> 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 Okay. Ooh. I'm so sorry, mate. No, hey, listen, I picked it. I'm so sorry. You wow. did well. You did very Thanks. well. Right. Okay, don't worry. Right, the whole game is totally different if we see it now. You strip the 1p out and keep the quarter of a million, and this next offer is magnificent. Well, there's two boxes I was keeping to the end. And I'm going to need some good luck here. The two boxes are where my best friend stood, with Debbie here and with Tom here. I was going to keep their boxes to the end because I know they'd want me to do well. And I think Debbie's box and Linda's box, I'm going to ask you to open that, OK? I hope this pays off for a brave Scotsman. Thank you, thank you. Yes. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think of that scenario? Well, she's still there. It's been over four years, and we have never ever married a quarter of a million with a courageous male player. That is a wedding we have not had. Hello? Yes, it says it's a wedding he hopes he never gets an invitation to. Mark, um, your no deal at 17,000 was like the world's strongest cup of black coffee to him. He is 100% in charge of his faculties. 
Yes, 50,000 going has left the game exposed. And quarter million still there. But there are two boxes out there, less than a pound. I think you know what's coming, I can tell by the look in your eye. Last time you mentioned you wanted more and he taunted you by dropping you 2,000, so we were at 17. This time he's going the other way, from 19 up to, to 21,000. <laughs> Hold on to the first thought that went through your mind when I said that. It might help you come to a decision. Mark, when he offered you the 19 the last time and you asked for 20, would you have dealt at that? I would have. But now I'm here. And so is the 250. It's a character, that 250, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. OK, Noel, I'm ready for this question. Mark. £21,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr. Banker. Deal. I think you Thank were carrying you. a considerable burden of paternal responsibility there. Um, We'll talk about it in a moment, uh, but first of all, I want you just to prove that you just topped out brilliantly in that game. So where are we going now? Three boxes, please. Well, I'm going to tell you the very last part from this box. The last box I was going to open was Kevin's, which okay. used to belong to Tom, OK? Right, so we're keeping ten, so it's just your order. Uh, um, it's going to be Dawn, please. Away you go, Dawn. Prove that you've had the quarter of a million in front of you. You have spanked him. Come on, let's mop it up. Uh, 14 or 11? I was going to leave more until the second last. It was going to be Chris. OK, Chris, come on. We know we've got the result we wanted. And you did <laughs> that, yes! <laughs> then it was going to be more. Away you go, Mo, thank you. 50p yeah. over there, so you'd have had a 1p 5,000 in. Oh. So, we were obviously hoping Box 13 had a quarter of a million pounds in it, but actually it was your destiny, if you'd gone all the way to the end, to join the 1P Club. Hello? <laughs> yes, it is an interesting sign that Mark makes. <laughs> ah, you're making a very similar one right now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's not using thumbs, Mark. <laughs> 2,100 it would have been at that point. God. Were you actually on your way to being the 30th member of the 1P Club? <laughs> this is what you brought to the table. 5,000. It would have been a, it would have been a tidy consolation. Kev, yeah. yeah. okay, thank you. 1P sitting over there. What a great oh, yeah. idea. <laughs> You're going to get it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Well, what about this? Uh, it's, it's been overdue for a while, a spanking. Yeah. Uh, I think the legacy of this game will be very positive for tomorrow's player. But how are you feeling? I feel great. I feel so happy. I feel so important. I, I wouldn't call the king my cousin today. I just feel absolutely fantastic. Top of the world. <laughs>
and we feel very pleased for you. Good luck in the future. Give our best to your family. You may have £21,000. Brilliant. I said, I said yesterday, I thought this was going to be an astonishing week. I just had a feeling we've got some marvellous characters here and they are determined to make the most of this opportunity, which always produces this wonderful cocktail of excitement and heavy emotion. And I hope you'll be drinking that cocktail with us tomorrow. See you then.